Hey guys, welcome back to another day today. Hope you guys are doing okay. As you guys remember to tell today, we're at Dead by Daylight. Best go for the build of September 2020. Now, if you guys are new to the series, what we do each uh, month, we get every single kill in the game. We're the best build of that month. Today is obviously Ghostface. Uh, remember, this is my opinion completely, so yeah. Um, if you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe to our channel. No waste of time. Let's go right to the perks. So the perks we have here is Barbecue and Chili, Pop Goes the Weasel, Hex Horn to Ground and a Nurse's Calling. So Barbecue and Chili does, each time our survivor is hooked, the auras are revealed to you for 4 seconds. Now the auras will be revealed to you if they're hiding in the locker, their perks counter it, or if they're in the 40 meter range. Now each time the survivor is hooked for the first time, go 25% stackable bonus to all blood points to gain a maximum of a level 1, 50% uh, BP, level 2, 75% BP, at level 3, 100% BP. So Pop goes to Weasel Dust, each time after hooking the survivor, the next January kick is instant regressed by 25% of his total progress, and after that, normal general regression applies. Now, at level 1, you have 40 seconds, level 2, 50 seconds, at level 3, 1 minute to kick uh, the next gen after hooking the survivor, so obviously it, it pops. So what Hex on the ground does, two trapped Hex tones will spawn in a trial. When one of the two uh, trapped hex tomes is cleansed by a survivor, all survivors suffer from the exposed status effect, which is a one hit down basically. Um, effect for L1 40 seconds, level 2 50 seconds, L3 1 minute. The remaining trapped hex tome is immediately becomes a dull totem once uh, one of them is cleansed. So, what a nurse's calling does so, when a survivor is healing or being healed, the auras are revealed to you uh, within uh, level 1, a 20 meter range. At level 2 at 24 meter range, at level 3 at 28 meter range. Now I think this build is good, it's got barbecue and chili for information, and it's specifically good for ghost face, because obviously you can go to stuff. You've got pop goes away for gen defense, hex on the ground, and I know it's a bit weird to use hex on the ground and ghost face, because um, he has the one hit down from his stalk. But you know, it's unexpected for survivors, survivors won't assume that, so they'll most likely cleanse it, which is in the case you can see in my videos, all, all of them, every match should basically cleanse. Cause obviously they're not expecting a ghost face, that's why I use it, it's kind of like a sneaky kind of <laughs> bitchy perk I guess. And you got nurses calling for obviously uh, sneak up as far as when you're in stuff, get them down, when they don't know where you are. So yeah, this moves to the final thing in today's video which is how to improve the build. Now how I've improved this build is I swapped out one perk and that perk, I swapped out his hex on the ground, I swapped out for sloppy butcher. I've added two islands, one being uncommon and one being rare. I've also added one map offering and that map is Hawkins. So what Sloppy Butcher does each time a survivor is inflicted by a successful basic attack only. Um, this will at level 1 slightly, level 2 moderately, at level 3 considerably, increase survivor's bleeding frequency and cause a mangled status effect. Bleeding and mangled effects caused by Sloppy Butcher return to normal once survivors are obviously healed. Now what the uncommon item does, this moderately increases night shroud power recovery rate, which essentially means the power obviously recovering. And what the rare one does, this moderately increases the duration of a survivor staying marked, which is exposed. And uh, yeah, that's the whole build together. Do you guys prefer it with the uh, haunted ground or the sloppy butcher, or do you guys even have a better build than this? Let me know in the comments section below. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, uh, do you guys think this build is shit as well? Uh, you know, let me know. And if you have any questions about um what the series I'm doing on my channel, the perks or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Next clip we're doing tomorrow is the pig, so make sure your notifications turn on for that. I do apologize for I upload today, I'm a bit busy. And uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.